What's up everybody and welcome to Saturday Night Monster, your channel for all the latest figures in Pokemon Duel as soon as they are released. Version 5 is out and we have a lot to talk about coming right up. The highly anticipated Pokemon Duel version 5 is here and I am pumped. Full of caffeine and painkillers, that is. Some of you may not have realized this, but I am broadcasting to you from Australia. Yay. And this stuff was supposed to be released at 9 p.m. here last night, but it got pushed back to 11. So when things like this come out, I stay up all night for you guys to make a video. That's how dedicated I am to my subscribers. I love you guys, so if you're watching this and you still haven't subscribed, I will take a moment of silence so that you can do that right now. Okay, moment of silence over. The highly anticipated version 5 is here, and there are no real changes that I can see except for a different background and a few different icons. The thing that I can see is that there are enough new Pokemon to make your head spin and your wallet want to cry. But before you go selling vital organs and your precious loved ones to finance these new Pokemon, let's have a look at them one by one so that we can decide which one to get. We have UX Mega Swampert. Wait, I sense that it's just dawned on you that I don't actually have these figures for you today. And you would be absolutely correct in your assumptions. There are far too many new Pokemon figures, even for Saturday Night Monster to get this time. But guess what, my fellow monsters, if you don't mind me calling you that? I did try. I spent what I consider to be a nice wad of cash and opened many boosters and spent thousands of gems just for you and got, wait for it, wait for it, nothing! That's right, absolutely nothing. I opened up every single variety of 4 packs and 10 packs multiple times and still got nothing. So I wanted to make this recommendation for you and hopefully I'm not too late. Get the gems, don't open the boosters. That's right, folks. Take advantage of the small sale that they have on right now, but save your booster openings for December 1st, which is when I suspect they will be putting the new ones in the boxes. There will likely be another sale on December 1st, so save all that spare cash for that. Before I begin this analysis of these new figures, and whilst we're on the topic of this subject, if you guys did happen to get luckier than Saturday Night Monster with your boosters, let me know what you got in the comments below. I would be very interested to hear that. Again, touching on that topic, when the team matches were on, I again dumped a bunch of cash on opening my daily boosters as soon as I got them to cycle through them faster so that I could get the shiny magic carp. And I got about 15 sparkle boosters, believe it or not, and they all essentially had the same thing in them. A couple of variations perhaps, but the same combination of contents, so no shinies. I am of the belief that there were no shinies in those sparkle boosters, so if any of you got a shiny magic card from those boxes, I would love for you to prove me wrong. I did however manage to get this guy, which I believe to be rare, as you cannot purchase him from the materials, and that was the only figure that I couldn't seem to get for you last time. Before I say too much, let us begin with our analysis, finally, of these new Pokemon on offer today. Now for my regular subscribers who aren't quite used to hearing me this pumped up and they're wondering who is this guy, let me just take a chill pill and take it down a notch for this. Okay, Mega Swampert. We have 140 Earthquake. I'm still shouting, aren't I? Okay, 140 Earthquake. And so when you evolve him, he's gonna be 150 from Swampert, right? And because the ground type Pokemon deal plus 10 damage, and your water type da Pokemon deal another 10 damage. He's going to be dishing out 170 for his Earthquake. Um, he has an amazing MP of 1. So definitely worth getting, guys, an MP of 1. But he gives your other water type Pokemon and your ground type Pokemon plus 1 MP, up to a maximum of MP3. However, I usually use Corsola to block my goal if I'm using a water deck, and that gives you an extra one as well to your... So I'm not, I don't know if that's cumulative, so it may actually cancel out uh, Corsola's effect of increasing MP. So I'm not quite sure about that. And he does have that great big blue tractor piece, which used to be a good thing, but now it's sort of a bad thing, especially if he's going up against Pokemon like Rowlet, or Terrakian, so he will be vulnerable to those Pokemon. 
Um, and of course, the ones that have purple, which is almost every single Pokemon that's been released lately, has a lot of purple in it. So, Mega Swampert, I really wanted to add you to my deck, but you know what? They still can't make these water decks good enough for me to go back to. Mega Blaziken, are you kidding me? Wall Crusher 2, I'll let you guys read that for yourselves. Wall Crusher 2 stars. So if you've evolved him from Combustric to Blaziken, um, EX, then you'd be going from 4 stars to 3 stars. Um, not quite sure that's good. Jet Kick 50, okay, so it's better than whatever, 20 or 30, but still, Jet Kick 50, give me a break. And then we've got those, not one, but two lovely Miss segments. Great stuff. Uh, his only saving grace is he can MP move over other Pokemon on the field. So, um, you can't stop him from going through you. He's not a flying type. He's not a, um, a grass type that can go through. He is just, he just can go over other Pokemon. Something which could be accomplished with a hurdle jump, by the way. So 130 evolved to 140 plus the extra 10 plus the extra 10 will give you 160 as a maximum attack damage. Um, yeah, there are better ones out there. Okay, next. Mega Sceptile. Now this one is interesting, guys. So his big attack is the 90 plus, which will give us... Um, if you evolve him from Sceptile, you'll get a hundred. If you happen to spin it twice, you'll double that to 200 plus tack on the extra 20. That's 220 damage. We have a clear winner, folks. And also, um, the problem is, if he doesn't get two times, then he's going to be dishing out 120. Tail Missile. The battle opponent and the Pokemon behind it in a straight line spin, those that spin purple attacks are knocked out. So purple attacks were the flavor of the month, last month, and the month before, and the month before that. And now they're not being favored anymore, so gold is in, folks. Gold is making a comeback on the stock market. Or at least in Pokemon Duel. Now Tapu Fini is the one we've all been waiting for for such a long time, and... Its introduction is being overshadowed by these new Mega UX figures. So let's see what Tapu Fini can do. Misty Surge. This ability is only valid on your turn. This Pokemon can MP move past non-fairy type Pokemon on the field. Again, the fairies are going to get in the way. When this Pokemon is on the field, whenever your water type Pokemon move from the bench, they may only move to a point one step away from an entry point. This ends your turn. So does that mean if somebody's covering your corners and you have this guy out on the field that you can actually do an MP move past that corner? I don't know. Next up, we have Primarina, and this one looks so cool. I was really waiting a long time for this one, and if this Pokemon is not affected by a special condition while this Pokemon is on the field, the effect of round becomes damage is multiplied by the number of your own Pokemon on the field that also have round or sing. This stuff is written so well grammatically folks I am having a hard time reading it. <laughs> so now we're favoring fairy type Pokemon so we're bringing back the dark types and the fairies and the grass types and everybody's coming back all together it's just gonna be a big huge battle royale. Shall I dare to say. One thing I really do like about Primarina is Balloon Flight. In this Pokemon's next battle, it cannot be knocked out. I like that. Now the understated uh, star of the show for today is probably Brion. So let's have a look at Brion. Look at the size of that gold piece. Yeah, I want one of those. Balloon Dance. Opposing Pokemon on the field spin. Those that spin a purple attack gain weight. Wow, that's fantastic. We've got an MP of two. We've got Sing. And... Yeah, if you want to just uh, make all your opponents fall asleep, get a Lapras or two. Get Brion and Primarina. And you'll be doing well. Now, the only three new Pokemon that I did get 
Okay, so I sort of wasn't telling you the truth. I did get something. I got Stantler. And look at the size of those mist segments. Fantastic. Now my favorite Pokemon of all, which I got two of, is Delibird. Look at Delibird. Miss. 16. No, that's not good enough. Let's put another one. Miss 16. Fantastic. Fantastic Pokemon there. Present 40. Man, this guy is dressed like Santa Claus. He looks like Santa Claus. I think that, yeah, I've been visited by Santa. Take flight. A blue protective segment. This Pokemon is eliminated from the duel. This Pokemon is eliminated from the duel. Fantastic! So instead of having six figures to fight with, I will now have five. I think I'll put three of these in my team. And of course I got Poplio. All the purple attacks of battle opponents of this Pokemon become misses? Wow. Okay, with an MP of three. So three Poplios on your team and a bunch of X speed plates will give you a win. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. So that's it for the analysis, but I did notice that the background for the figures case is now a wishy-washy color that has less contrast so your Pokemon look worse. Fantastic. Great idea. So that's it for this episode of Saturday Night Monster. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe now um, because things are going to get really exciting in the future with all the new Pokemon that I'm going to get on December 1st. Right? Right. Okay, so anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. and Give me a like. Just, just do it. And uh, I don't know why, just do it. This is Saturday Night Monster signing out. Have a nice weekend, guys. See ya.